The Cape Girardeau Convention and Visitors Bureau sponsored two premier motor vehicle events this year, the Corvette Caravan and the Motorcycle Cannonball Run. The Corvette Caravan has collectors from all parts of the United States, and the Cannonball Run attracts motorcycle enthusiasts from all over the world. Each event made a stop in Cape Girardeau. Well, the Corvette Caravan basically is a group of Corvette owners that make their way every five years to the National Corvette Museum, which is in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Uh, we're from California. We started out in San Fernando Valley at the California Car Cover. Uh, we had a caravan meet us from Santa Barbara, and we joined up with them, and then we drove to Ontario. In Ontario, California, we had a greet and meet that night, spent the night, got up early in the morning, drove to Williams, Arizona. From Williams, Arizona, we drove to Albuquerque, New Mexico. From New Mexico, we went to Texas, to uh, Almarillo. Then from Almarillo, we came to here. And then we spend the night here to go to Kentucky's our next stop. What you see here is a small sampling of the cars that will be there, probably in the neighborhood of 5,000. So it's a big deal. We had Corvettes parked on both sides of Main Street, on Independence, on Water Street, on Themis Street. Um, we literally had them shoehorned just about everywhere we could get them. Back when I was in high school, when the first 63 Stingray came out, the split window coupe. When I saw that, I told myself, one day I will have one of these cars. From start to finish, I've put about 15,000 from the purchase of the car all the way from all the maintenance that I've done to get it ready for this trip. I spent 10,000, 10,000 for the car. I probably put in uh, probably an additional 40,000, but it's probably worth over 100,000 today. Probably about 80 grand. Uh, as to how much money I have invested, uh, I don't know. It's not, a, not an inexpensive plaything but it is worth the money. Uh, the best thing about the Corvette is the brand new C7 that I have. Uh, it's seventh generation of car. The design people really outdid themselves and came along with a lot of good features in this car, so it's several steps ahead of last generation. I had two of the last generation. Good cars, this is better, so pretty excited about it. Yeah, the best experience is driving them. They are most awesome cars to drive, and like, Jim said the C7, the technology and everything that's been put into the car makes the car fantastic. There is nothing in the American manufacturing industry that can match it. I will say this, I love the Corvettes, um, the brand new Corvettes especially, the 2013 and 14 models are like almost looking at something like the inside of a spaceship, it, it is amazing. The people literally stop. Every town that we go through, they stop. If you got gas, everybody's asking, why are there so many Corvettes in the street? Where are you guys going? Just driving uh, through New Mexico, especially, was really awesome. Uh, lots of great scenery, and the roads were great. Uh, just cruise along. You're doing anywhere between 60 and 80 miles an hour, you know? It's so cool to be able to drive through the hills and on decent highways. The people are great. Uh, we've stopped in uh, different towns and they've gone all out. Barbecues, lunches, I mean, the, the, even the people in the caravan are great. It was a great fun evening. It was hot, but people came out. They had a chance to visit with people from the southwestern United States and they made a big impression. Um, I think one of the greatest assets that our community has is, a, is its people. One of the Corvette Caravan participants from California just wanted us to note that they had a spectacular time while they were here, and he wanted the chamber to know that they noticed and they appreciated the community's efforts. The motorcycle cannonball run came to Cape Girardeau on September 9th. I sat down with Chuck Martin to learn a little bit more about this event. 
The Motorcycle Cannonball Run is an event that takes place every other year, so every two years. Um, basically, they lay out a wonderful, most often transcontinental um, endurance run. This year's event is going all the way from Fort Lauderdale, Florida to Tacoma, Washington. Um, it truly is one of the premier motorcycle events in the world. Like the many different motorcycle types, there are also several different cities and countries represented at the Cannonball Run. There will be um, about 110 um, motorcyclists that are actually participating in the endurance run, about 175 support staff um, supporting them along the way. Um, the fact is that there's 110 pre-1937 vintage motorcycles. Um, 24 different states are represented among those riders, as well as 10 foreign countries. Um, amazingly, we have riders that will be in Cape Girardeau from Poland, um, Italy, South Africa, England, Spain, France. Um, so it is a very, very cool event and uh, one that we were pleased to be a part of.